Britain first! Fighting back! Britain first! Fighting back! Britain first! Fighting back! This is a Christian country and we will do everything, everything in our power will be done to drive Islam out of this country forever. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna send it within an hour. Oh. But he said he has sent it, he has given it to you. They're trying to make um, life difficult for Muslims in this country because now their um, slogan is no more mosques. So they're basically saying that Muslims should not be allowed to practice their faith. Okay, um, so they want to discriminate against Muslims and uh, make us feel as if we don't belong here. And it makes us very upset, very sad, uh, because most Muslims have made Britain their home. And actually we need to look at it positively. Um, building mosques in the UK is saying that this is our home. They ain't got nothing better to do. I mean, um, obviously, uh, it's lack of knowledge. Obviously, they, they need to get a lot, a lot of knowledge and just live together, really, you know, because um, they can't really alter what they want to do, you see. So they rather kind of join everybody rather than be segregated and be the troublemakers. Groups like Britain First, uh, and they are not the first to be coming here, um, want to prove that we cannot live harmoniously in a mixed culture um, and see um, minority uh, cultures here as a threat to um, this country. And of course, Tower Hamlets has always been a home um, for new communities. Uh, and so we are therefore a prime target if they want to, to prove that the harmony uh, that we have here actually doesn't exist. And so they come in order to incite people to violence. I would not accuse um, the, the government of the same level of racism uh, as groups like Britain First, but there is a slippery slope, uh, and it does unfortunately go right through uh, our institutions now. Um, and that is very unfortunate for, for the culture of Britain, which has always been a home for migrant communities, and that they have enriched this country with the things that they bring, as well as what they learn here, it's that what they bring to our culture. The government also making statements uh, that are quite worrying as well. It, it's, although it's not, you cannot say it's Islamophobic, but it's sort of on the borderline uh, most of the time and trying to um, indicate that the Muslims uh, are a problem and, and some of the practices that they think are extreme is actually quite mainstream in the Muslim community. You know, it is part of our religion. 
And uh, so when the government say, okay, if you are doing this and this, then you are, you'll be considered as an extremist. And that means 95% of Muslim community are, will be considered extremist. You know, so this is what is worrying for us.